So welcome to the Wisdom Builder Friday call. Excited to have you on. Um, so I'm going to start off with some recognition, um, well-deserved recognition. You guys, we're headed into the last week of the month, and you guys are rocking it. It's so awesome to see what all of you guys are doing, the lives you're impacting, and um, you know what you're doing to um, be proactive, especially during this time of crazy quarantine, right? So I'm going to share my screen. Um, hopefully I can do this without messing anything up. And I want to recognize, all right, can you guys see that? Thumbs up if you can. I think I know how to do this. You guys are good. All right. So I'm showing you the top 20 achievers spring leaderboard. And look at this, you guys. This is the Wisdom Builder team representing big time. Um, so I'll call out the names. We have Lisa Whitman and number 18. Number 15 is Jen Case. Number 13 is Micah and Brian Sinnott. Number 12, Alan and Nicole Blaine. We have number eight, Joseph Isaac. And number seven, Sarah Seltzer. Number six, Kat Cook. Number four, Brian and Carrie Foss. And then we have number three, Dale and Veronica Partridge, you guys, at, with 25. And then our very own number one, Catherine and Elijah Boberg at 57. You guys are killing it. Way to go, Wisdom Melder team. You guys can use those reactions to give everybody a big thumbs up, a round of applause. Um, it's just great to see that representation. So um, as we move on, I just want to give you guys a, a couple of reminders um, coming up. So let me see. I need to hit stop sharing, get everybody there. Y'all, there you go. I see everybody again. All right. So um, those reminders, let me, I'm uh, learning how to use all this. So, <laughs> all right. So do not forget about the beauty blitz promotion. You guys, this is such a powerful way to close out your month, to just connect with those people who are maybe kind of on the fence or just remind those who are ordering that this month, um, or until, um, you know, until this, um, what am I trying to say? Until they run out, the Beauty Blitz promotion is up. And what you get is a free makeup remover and rejuvenating cream. This is a $60 value. So, um, and this is when you buy the three-step system. So take advantage of something that Neolife is offering um, on such a hot product too. So I'm really excited about that and have um, used that as well. So um, <clears throat> the other thing I want to mention is the Neolife is having the virtual convention. We need to get everyone on this. It's affordable. Um, it's a way that you can invite um, your entire team to just come out and represent our first ever, ever virtual convention. So um, speaking of that, we have some great incentives. Um, so you need to make sure, let's see, you're qualified for it this month. And what we're, you're looking at is you're looking at to win cash uh, free convention products, and then even this is exciting. I don't know what it is, so Josh, I cannot get Josh, even in our pillow talk, to give me secrets, you guys, but it's an exclusive signature gift for, with over a hundred dollar value per, per, for, per promoter, um, for maintaining consistency, so you guys work on that consistency. You're doing a great job at it, um, and then don't forget tonight. That's why Josh is not here with us right now. Um, is we he's doing a business opportunity webinar with some of the hottest stars right now in the Neil I family. We have not a Saint your name, Louie and Laverne Smith. We also have Joel and Gabby Merritt. We have Rebecca Sherritt, Charlotte Shelton, and Nicole and Alan Blame. Uh, Tom and Dr. Amanda Smith. A just dynamic lineup of just those who are making it happen and changing lives. And so that is tonight. You can register, um, as you, many of you know, just go to neolifeevents.com and uh, register for that. It's at 9 p.m. Um, Eastern time, 6 p.m. Um, uh, Pacific time. So um, with that, I think that is everything that I need to update you guys with and make sure you're aware of. You guys finish this month out strong. I'm gonna turn it over to Alan, who's gonna give us our training today. So Alan, thank you. We really appreciate you and all you do. Awesome. Thank you, Chelsea. I'm uh, super excited to get to, um, actually, we just ordered that few of those Beauty Blitz uh, promotions yesterday. So I'm glad you brought that up because I'd almost forgot about it. I don't know what that is in free product, but probably $70 or so in free product that comes with each skincare set. It's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, um, 
excited to uh, talk to you guys about business prospecting. What I have to share is a result of talk, several conversations this week with different people in our organization that would, uh, when the topic came up, was like, what is the business script? You mean the vitamin campaign, the business script? Where, what's the business prospecting script? Where do I find the business prospecting script? Which Facebook group is that in? Where is it? What is it? Like, there's a lot of data out there. We, we, we're, we're moving at light speed, new videos, new Facebook groups, new scripts, new this, new that, right? So um, what I have to share, I think is critically important. Maybe more important than what I have to share over these next few minutes is what others have to share. Um, so I'm going to be, um, what's the three B's? You want to be brief. You want to be bold and you want to be gone. No, it's not that. I got to remember the three B's of public speaking, but be brief and be gone. That's what I remember. Okay. So I'm going to be brief and be gone. Um, but I want to talk about what is the business script? Where do you find the business script and why does it even matter? And I'm going to do this very quickly. And then we'll get to hear from a few people that are actually using it and um, hear some different perspectives on it. Okay. So that's the plan for the next uh, 15 minutes or so. If you've been using it or a variation thereof, we would love to hear from you as well. So be ready. Um, again, we are, we're, we're, we're launching a lot of stuff. And so th there's a lot to keep up with on one hand. I want to say this. It was said before and it bears repeating again. It's better to take one thing and do it every day consistently and do it very well then be a master of all or a jack of all trades and a master of none so i, I do believe that with all my heart um, it does not matter to me in the slightest if you want to lead with product or you want to lead with business or you want to be like me and do both depending on the situation and the person and the context of what i'm dealing with um, and others that do the same thing i know it's not just me so it doesn't matter to me. I, I do not care, but I do care that you at least know what's available. I'm very impassionate about everybody at least knowing what's available to them, what's working very well, and this is one of those things. So let's jump into it. Um, the business prospecting script for anybody that's going, what in the world exactly are you talking about, Alan? I'm going to show it to you right now, and I'm going to tell you where you can find it. Um, let's see. Let's share that. Do we want to share that? I think so. No, we don't want to share that. I want to share that slide. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to share, share it with you right now. And by the way, I want to tell you this. I should have said this first before I shared my screen is there are people, and this was talked about at our team retreat. There are people that are at home. Most people are at home. They're at home. They're laying awake at night. They're on their knees in the morning. They're just praying for an opportunity and solution. They are praying to learn about, they don't know it yet, the miracle that we all have in our mouth. And all of us on this call aren't the only, you know, ones that think this is an amazing business opportunity and that would invest 30 minutes of our Friday to be on this call because we believe that so much. We're not the only ones. In fact, we are a little remnant of the population of people that are just dying to be offered this opportunity to say yes to learning about it. That's all we're offering, an opportunity to say yes to learning or no to learning. We're not asking for anyone's hand in marriage on the first date. That's, that's a good, we need to remember that when we're talking about business prospecting or even product prospecting for that matter, customer prospecting. So there are people that are dying for this opportunity. And you're going to hear from some people here in a minute that knew of people that their businesses were closed or knew of people that were out of work and they sent this message that I'm going to show you to show you the message I'm going to show you they sent it to them that's great but how many people in your circle of hundreds of people that you know your mailman your postman I'm just saying the people you know it's hundreds it's hundreds maybe thousands but it's hundreds every one of you how many of them are in the situation that we're all in, where we love this business, we value it, we see the value, we are so thankful somebody told us about it, but they'll never, ever, 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 ever know about it if we don't let them know about it or somebody else doesn't, right? 
that's the context we need to keep in mind. It's not a fear tactic. It's not like a, a you know, a panic thing. It's not a, um, I got to get to them before someone else does. It's not that. It's not a heavy burden I've got to carry. It's just a mindset that I have something very, you have something very valuable. And, and this contest can apply to our spiritual lives as well, by the way, for the, those of us that are believers, and you can make some parallels here. And we either keep it to ourselves or we don't. That choice is totally up to you. And that choice is totally up to me. My, personally, I think this is an amazing, professional, classy way to get to share this with people. So here you go. This is what it is. So why is that? There we go. Okay, so the message is very simple. It's pre-written. It's pre-thought through. All you have to do is copy and paste and edit all you would like to make it your own. If there's something that needs to be said differently, say it differently. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a blueprint. It's just a, a format. It's good enough to send as is, and it's fine to edit all you want, but here it is. Okay. This is the message. It's this simple. Hey, Ben, I hope you're doing well and safe during these challenging times with what's going on right now. I, Nicole and I, whatever, again, you make it yours. We are more focused and productive than ever in our home business, especially with it recently being identified as an essential business by the US Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security. Our immunity products are moving rapidly and we're in the process of expanding our team. I thought of you. I know, I know this may or may not be a fit for you, but I would love to work with you. Would you at all be open to earning extra income? And if so, I'd love to get you some information. And if not, no big deal. Just let me know either way. No relationship damaged. In fact, I complimented the person, letting them know I'd love to get to work with them. I gave them an out. I've got the door wide open for them to say, no, whatever. I'm not worried about whether they say yes or no to learning. I'm just worried about me offering them the opportunity to say yes or no to learning. And I'm giving them a compliment in the process. I don't know how this could damage anything and how, and it could literally impact someone's life for generations to come. I think it's brilliant. Um, so there's the message. It's that simple. And you're going to get one of three responses. I'm going to tell you up front. If you haven't used it yet, you're going to get no response. You're going to get a no, thank you. Or you're going to get uh yeah, maybe. What is it? Sure. I, I'm open to learning. I mean, essentially most all, all responses will fall in one of those three categories said different ways. Okay. So what do we say next? Whatever you want to say, but here it's already pre-written out, you know, it's great. It's asking them a question. If I invite you to a private Facebook group, would you watch a webinar that's recorded there? I'd love for you to learn more about it. Obviously I've already offered, I said that to them. That was the question, but I want to ask, will you watch the webinar? If I invite you to a private Facebook group, why am I asking that? Because if I'd rather them tell me no, I'm not watching a webinar. No, I'm not on Fa I'm not joining a Facebook group. Tell, I mean, nobody tells you that, but I'd rather them tell me that up front than later because what's plan B? Well, I can send them a direct link to, to the webinar or I can send them some other information or I could get them on a three-way call with somebody. There's other options, but I want to ask because this is my preferred option because not only do I want them to see the business presentation, but I also owe presentation tonight. 6 p.m. Pacific, let's come back to that. Um, not only do I want them to see the business presentation, as important as that, I want them left in a Facebook group that's going to continue to market, on, market to them and show them the amazingness of the impact and the income and the freedom and the opportunity this business provides. The culture we all talk about, the community, you all, the amazing people that we get to be around, they get to see that, uh, what's the word? Um, Anyway, online, I can't think of the word right now. Virtually, virtually, um, by being in the Facebook group. So that's my first choice. I want to get them in there to see that. Okay, so there's the message two. Message three is the last thing here. Um, assuming they agree to it. If they don't agree to it, you go to plan B. I already talked about that. But if they agree to it, you just let them know what you're going to do. You let them know the name of the Facebook group, the ideal. I'll read it. I'll send you, perfect, I'll send you an invite to the Ideal Business Neo Life Facebook group. Okay, that's the Facebook group we're talking about. Um, I'll tag you in the webinar post. I look forward to hearing what you think. 
at the very least, you'll learn what I do, why I'm so passionate about it, and you may think of someone else I should talk to during these times. Any idea when you may be able to watch this? Triple opt-in, right? I'm, I'm at least giving them a chance to think through their schedule and tell me when they think they will be able to watch it. I'm not saying, great, are you going to go watch it in the next 30 minutes? But I'm just leaving an open-ended question. Anyway, that's the script. I won't bog down too much on details. So that's that. So what is the Facebook group in case anyone's on this call going on? What is the ideal Facebook group? Well, we've had this for three weeks now tomorrow at a retreat that's got launched. So it's relatively new. I want to make sure everybody's aware of it. Won't say too much about it other than show you a picture and tell you this is the business version of the Neo Life Healthy Living Community Club member recruiting prospecting group. This is the promoter business prospecting group, if you want a correlation to the two. Right here, okay, this is where the webinar is. This is where uh, it's right, and it's pinned as an announcement right to the top of the page. You can't miss it when you get there or when they get there that you can tag them in. So that's the group. Um, where do you find these scripts? You want to, and I told you, I'd tell you where you find these scripts. That's where you find the script. Sorry, I was in a hurry. That's my scribbling with a mouse, trying to draw with a mouse. Does anybody else have some challenges drawing with a mouse besides me? I'm like, mm, and that's the result. Okay. So I didn't, that was it. Sorry. That's what you got. Anyway, that's where you find the scripts. Wisdom Builders Team, Team face Training Facebook group. Click on units, go to unit four, titled business prospecting, pretty simple. And these scripts I just showed you that you can copy and paste where? I'd recommend in your notes. I love notes. I've got a note for everything. Copy, paste, tweak, edit, um, write out a notes. Um, and it's right in my notes right there. Anyway, but that's where you can find it, okay? So that's that. And that there is a blank screen. It's white, and that's all I have here. Let me uh, minimize or let me stop sharing. Okay, so um, what I want to do next is app call on a couple people that I know have sent some of these messages, and, and we'll just do this kind of quick and rapid fire. But I know there's two or three of you that I would like to have share, and then and then we'll just open it up because we've got about 12 minutes left by my clock. Um, to uh, if anyone else has. Ideally, when we open it up, if anybody's used the script, I, we, I'd love to hear from you. I think everybody else would too, since that's the topic of the day. And if there's not any others that have used it yet, that's fine too. Then we can just go open Q&A, comments, questions, whatever, until we uh, end this thing around 1.30 Eastern or 10.30 Pacific time. So first of all, though, um, Raynetta, I know you've sent some of these. Um, I, I would love to get to maybe hear from you, uh, Shelly Lazone. I know we've had conversations about it and who else? Um, Stacy, uh, had said she had shared some too. So uh, let's go in that order and then we can just open it up to any questions or comments anybody may have, but Renetta, I'll let you go first. Can you just spend a minute or two sharing what your experience has been, uh, using the script? Sure. Thanks for letting me talk guys. Um, hi everybody. I hope y'all had a great week. Um, I've used it in several different ways. Um, first, I was just using the vitamin campaign. And then when I would send the vitamin campaign, I had someone interested, but then she said, well, I'm broke right now. I don't have any money. I've, my, I've been laid off from my job. And so I just kind of modified the business script and said, hey, you know, I don't know if you're interested, but would you? And I kind of sent the script to her and she immediately wrote back and said, yes. And so I tagged her and I added her to the group. She's already looked at the webinar. Alan and I have had a three-way call with her. So I know she's very interested, but she wants to try the product. So she hasn't even looked at the products yet. Um, and so I thought that was really great that she's been in several different MLM companies. And so I think that she might be interested in pursuing this as, as she learns more about it. Another one I sent out was to a friend of mine who's on the products, but she's in another MLM company. Her company is not anything related to health or anything. It's Color Street. And so she's actually said, yeah, I'll take a look at it. So she's already watched the webinar, I believe, as well. And I'm going to follow up with her this week. But Alan um, also asked me this morning if I had done more. And so I sat down just for him and sent out two, 10 messages this morning, just random messages to people I thought might be interested. Um, and out of those 10, and this just this morning, guys, I've already got one that wrote me back and said she's not interested in selling at this time, 
but thanks for thinking of her. Another one wrote me back and said, she's not interested in selling right now, but if anybody comes up that has a need, she'll send them my way. And the last one actually said, maybe I have long, I work long hours, um, but she's already accepted the invite to the page and I've already tagged her in the message um, in the webinar. So that's just this morning within an hour work. Um, so can you imagine what you would do if you really put, promoted a lot of time and put up a lot of time in that? So that's my comments for the business group. It works and I recommend giving it a try guys. I love it. Let me ask you a question. Um, I asked Shelly and I'm going to ask Shelly the same question uh, for everybody else in front of everybody else too, but I'm going to ask you, uh, you've been involved in this business now, Ray, for how long approximately? Three years. Three years. And in three, three years, years, two and a half years, two and a half years. Okay. In two and a half years, how many people have, have told you now, let me, let me paraphrase it like this. I've asked hundreds of people in my life, hundreds and hundreds. What do you do? Tell me about your business. Tell me about your job. Never, ever, ever, not even thinking I was interested in doing what they do. I just wanted to learn about them, right? We've all done that. What do you do, right? Have we all asked people what they do? That's not what I'm talking about. How many people in two and a half years have asked you, Ray, tell me what you do, you know, in, in other words, in other words, have approached you in some way or other and basically shown an interest in learning about your business in the context of I might want to do it too. How many people have that, you know, have communicated to you that they might be open to, to partnering with you to do in your business and, and want to learn more? How, how many people have done that to you in two and a half years? Zero. Zero. Okay. I didn't know the answer because, mm -hmm. you know, I've never yeah. asked that, but I knew it's <laughs> low because I've been doing it for five years. I know. Zero. And in an hour this morning of sending some messages how many did you get that said, I'm interested in what learning about what you do potentially to do it to one. Right. I will one for sure. And then the other two, they, they said not at this time. So that's what I found was very interesting. Right. Um, they didn't tell me no. And, and we all know, no is not just not right now, but they actually put it in their message back to me. Thanks for thinking of me. I'm not interested right now. So that just really, made me want to put them on another list to come back and just talk to them or keep in, in contact with them, you know, cause not now, now, right now might mean a month, might mean a year, but right. they could be open to it. Yep. And it's done so professionally. Again, it sounds like you tweaked the script to make it yours and set it in your own way, which is great, but it's done so professionally that we planted, she, in this case, planted seeds, did because because we also have to know that we don't want to do damage in the process in, in the process of planting seeds we want all the seeds to have a chance to take root down the road we don't want to like be damaging seeds to where they'll never ever ever sprout right or the odds are not good this is a way to plant a bunch of seeds if you choose throwing a big net of people to catch the ones that are sitting there praying for an opportunity right now that will never know about it unless you know somebody shares it with them um, or, or, or we'll find out next month they joined another company is what is what will happen that, that's what mm -hmm. we'll find out okay so just mark, if it hasn't happened to you yet just just watch because somebody else will Alan, ask, can I say, say yes. can I can I say one more thing yeah um, I've actually I definitely have changed the script to add what I think is uh, more me and I moved the um, this might not be for you. I moved that to the very beginning and it seems to work because it immediately catches their attention that they have an out. And I, I'm like, you may, this may or may not be for you. It's no big deal. I just curious. And I add the word just curious. So it makes them think a little bit more. And then at the end, I also add a little bit of if you know of anyone that might be interested. And so that's why I think the other lady wrote back to me and said, it's not, it's not something I want to do right now, but if someone expresses a need to me, I'll send them your way. I love it. I love it. And you know what? You're right. That is a very disarming, <laughs> very disarming, non needy, non needy, Nelly, desperate Duncan kind of a disarming comment, which is why it's in there. And if you feel more comfortable putting it right on the front end, I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, Ray. Um, okay, let's, let's keep moving. Shelly, can we go to you next and you share your experience? 
Hello, there we go. Okay. Yes. So mine is similar uh, in the sense of who I've reached out to. So I first started with customers, um, people I know that love the products, have been on the products for a while, or maybe they just started and just maybe they just got their three for free or something. And I reached out to them and um, got a great response. Um, the other side of it, I wanted to just start out with just reaching out to old friends. So that's where that conversation started, whether you do, how long you've been doing it. Oh, you must love it. You've been doing this for so long. You know, then they come back with, well, no, I don't love it. I'm not home with my kids or I don't get to travel with my husband or whatever it may be. Then I offer the business opportunity to them. And again, like Ray, I word it to where I use most of what you've given us, but I add a little bit before, depending on who it is, right? That all changes sometimes, not in so many ways, but just to make it my own and uh, knowing, I, you know, I'll get a better response in that way, but also, um, you know, letting them kind of get a, a taste for what it could be like for them. Like if I knew their need, um, you know, an old friend, I actually reached out to six more just this morning since we talked, Alan, and I got one response um, so far that is open to learning. And I know that this girl, I've known her since I was eight, and I know that this girl's looking for freedom. She's a single mom. She's raising her son. She wants to be home with him, but she's not. Um, and she's living way out in the boonies because she can't afford to um, live where, where we grew up. And so <clears throat> knowing that, I'm able to respond more accurately, knowing what her need is and perks her interest. And so um, definitely the script works. I mean, again, like Ray, you got to make it in your own words, your own vocabulary, add a little love, add a compliment, um, just asking if they're just open to just learning. And then I say, it may or may not be a match for you. But until you learn what it's about, you know, and I don't say learn, but until you, um, for lack of better words, I don't know, but until they learn, then they can say, okay, yeah, it's not a match for me. It's not something I'm into. Cool. I'm so glad you checked it out. Thank you. You know, it's like the analogy I use my kids, and I think I've said this a million times, but it's so true. They tell me they don't like green beans, let's say. And I ask them, have you had green beans before? No. Okay, then don't tell me you don't like them. <laughs> have them, and then if you don't like them, cool. Like, that is great. So just... I think just emphasizing just to learn about it, watch this free webinar, and I say free, um, which also perks their interest. So anyway, just using the right words, and I'm so grateful for the script. I mean, literally, this is, I think, the question you're going to ask me, and I'll go ahead and answer it for you. When you asked how many people have said to you, I want to take a look at what you're doing over the last four years of doing this business, it's been zero, zero. And I'm just blown away by this script that we have to use where I can spend 30 minutes sending this out at the, at the longest to six people just this morning and getting responses. And <clears throat> anyway, it's just so time efficient. I'm just so grateful. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. That was you, well, you heard me say that when I wanted to ask you that question too. So if I understand right, four years of doing the business, zero people that have told you they're interested, you know, said, yeah, I want to learn more about the business. And in minutes, we'll say minutes of working with the script, however many minutes that is, um, you, you've already got people saying, yeah, tell me more. I'm open to learning at least. So um, again, that's just what I wanted to, I see that. I mean, that's been my experience. I, I could share a lot of personal stories as well because we've been using the script um, and variations thereof. And, and it just works. I know it works. That's why I was curious how many have even tried it yet. And, um, and it sounds like it's quite a minority, which is good that we're talking about it because other people seriously need this. You all know that. We all know that. People are, need this big time. I'm sorry. I still got you spotlighted there. I'll cancel that for you, Shelly. Um, and, and also, too, it's like, here's the deal. Anybody that's willing to put their head down have enough conversations with people and really has a desire to help people and they're teachable and they're coachable and they're willing to use the tools like this amazing Facebook groups we have and videos and all the stuff. Like I believe anybody and everybody can make director. There's nobody unless they literally have some sort of a, you know, um, handicap of some sort that just does not allow them to, 
to do that. I, I don't know what that would be, but I feel like for all of us on the call, not, you know, 99.99% of people we're going to come across, everybody can make director if they want to. But I think most of us on this call have a desire to even go beyond that. And the next step above the next major milestone above that is world team Sapphire director. And the only way to get there, the only way, I mean, you could have a business doing $5 million a year. You could be making a half a million dollars a year in income, but if you can't help one other person become a director, you'll never be a world team member and you'll never be at that level. So, so which maybe someone doesn't care about. There are people in Neil life that do a boatload of, of, you know, sells and move a lot of product and make a lot of money. And they just don't, they never built a team. And, and for me, for me and Nicole, we love seeing people's health transform, but we love seeing people grow and develop as people and in, and in their communication and which affects their marriage and their parenting and the community around them and their churches and every other aspect of their life. And so building leaders, and we can't build a leader, leaders build themselves, but playing our role in that is critical. And all that to say is, if we can't help someone else become a director, we'll never be Sapphire. And if we can't help three other people become director, we'll never be a one Ruby. And if we can't help four other people become a director, we'll never be a two Ruby. And five, three Ruby, and so on. And so it's very, very important that, and, and if we go four years of building, now I know Shelly has directors in an organization, and a lot of our directors are going to come from being customers. In fact, probably, I'd argue the majority of our directors are, and promoters are going to come from the ranks of club member and customer and realize these products rock. Tell me about your business. How many of us have been in that position, right? A lot of us. And that's, that's awesome. But we're also going to miss out on a whole bunch of other people if we don't also talk about the business to people, especially right now in these times. And we don't even know what this is going to do recession wise. And we don't even know the long-term ramifications of this whole thing, the whole COVID thing. So anyway, I think it's more important. It's always important, but now more than ever. And by the way, before we jump to the last person, Stacy, is this, is we have got so many club members by leading with business. And we don't always lead with business, by the way, in case that comes like I always lead with business, I don't. But so many of our customers today are a result of business. Built, built, I mean, leading with business. Yeah, I'm open. Okay, watch the webinar, watch this. Okay, I think I want to start. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think I want to start with the products and experience the products. Good choice. Just become a club member, experience the products. Got a customer out of it. And they may or may not become a promoter later. That's okay. Okay. Um, Stacy, I know you have sent one or more or multiple of these messages. What uh, would you mind sharing with us your experience real quick? Yeah, um, I just signed up actually for a promoter right before retreat. So this was like all new to me, but it was amazing to go into it just having these scripts to start with. So I sent the business script out to six people from the time from retreat to now. Um, one of them I had been, it had been a high school friend who had skin cancer, who she graduated with me. So she was going through treatment. And then just immunocompromised and with the whole COVID thing going on, I had been reaching out product to her, but then she also owned a daycare and she had to close her daycare. So then that kind of flipped my script from product to business. Mm -hmm. And she accepted the invite. I did send the business script to her and she accepted the invite and watched the video and we have been in contact since. Awesome. I love it. And your brand new promoter, you said since retreat, right? Last couple of weeks yes. or so. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it obviously works and you only sent six or nine, I forget, less than 10, right? Yeah. Less than 10. Yeah. Less than 10. So, so that's, that's, you had something else to add? Well, I was just going to say there were two that I've also added to the ideal business neolife group who have checked out the webinars, um, but just not at this time was their response back. Yep. And that's great. And there's no, there's no problem with that. I was a, not at this time to Josh for well over a year. That, well, Mike I, can tell me I, how long I was at, not at this time. Anything. Yeah. So. yeah how, great, how long were you? Uh, that's a great, great, great example. How long were you a no, not at this time oh. until you signed uh, or until you started on Neolife? Yeah, I was actually taking another product, um, Advocare, and that was probably four years ago. And, um, after a while, I quit that because obviously I did not see any benefit to it. And then Micah had been pursuing me that whole time during Advocare and, you know, up until, 
last year, I think is when I started on product, probably about nine months ago now. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was probably four years that she pursued me. Yeah. Great example, better than my one year, four years. I mean, there's story after story after story. So that's, that's what I get so excited about. If we do it in a classy, professional, loving, caring, all the positive descriptors I could use way, the person at least knows. And now, even if they say no, and I'm not really interested in learning about your business right now, Stacy, they're going to be watching and looking and listening. And they're, they know exactly what they're looking at now, instead of, yeah, Stacy does something and something with nutrition is probably one of those herbal life things. I don't even know. Like they don't know, but if they'll at least, Anyway, at least starts the conversation. It gets people looking. Thank you, Stacey, for sharing. I appreciate that. Yes, you're and, welcome. Uh, congratulations on your already initial success, even in the last, what, three weeks or so. So you're, you're rocking it. That's great. And Stacey, I think you're an RN, right? Yes, I'm a nurse. Nurse, another, another uh, health professional added to our team. That's awesome. Um, we're over 1230, I guess, or th the half hour past, whatever time zone you're in. I didn't realize that we'd have so much amazing stuff to talk about. Um, I'm a little fired up and excited about this topic. If you can't tell, does anybody, I know we're over time, if you gotta go, go, but does anybody have something they were just dying to ask or say before we shut it down? Real quick. Won't wait too Alan, long. Alan, you said I you were gonna point things. out exactly where to find it. Michelle, what was the question? You said you were gonna point out um, where they can find all the scripts and everything. Yes, I did. Let me go back and do that again here. Let's see, where is it? You might've just missed seeing that, which is no problem. It's worth pointing out again. PowerPoint, share, let's see, can I go back? There we go, right there, can you see that? Does that show up? You're muted, Michelle, can you guys see my screen? Okay, good, I think you're nodding your head. Yes? Yeah, Wis I remember you said. Uh, okay, good, <laughs> Wisdom Builders, no, I'm glad you asked. Wisdom Builders, team, 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 not for prospects. You don't know how many people are adding prospects to this group by mistake, um, team, training, Facebook group, wisdom builders, units, unit four. That's where the scripts can be found. Anything else, or anyone else? I think someone commented. I can't get back there fast enough. I'm working the navigation over here. Uh, Alan? Yes, uh, who was that? Alan? Gabby. Gabby, there you are. Go ahead, Gabby. Yeah, um, no, I was just gonna say I had, um, there were two uh, ladies that I was gonna reach out to this morning and um, I've reached out to both. I just felt like God wanted me to share my story with them. But it was funny because right before I was getting ready to message this one um, gal that I reached out to last week, um, she's a nurse and she went down to part-time to be with home with their little boy. Um, she just sent me this long, huge text right before I started texting her, um, asking her if she'd be interested in looking at it. And she was just like, we really can't afford the vitamins right now. She's like, and I don't expect to ever get anything for free. But she said, I really, um, is there any way that I can get them, you know, for less expensive? You know, I know if you join the club, it's cheaper and whatever. And so anyways, I asked her if we could chat on the phone. And so she said, yeah, tonight at five. So looking forward to talking to her and maybe, you know, maybe I, she would be awesome. She, she sees a lot come through labor and delivery, um, a full that he come from other countries after it and have, um, lose their babies at 39 and 40 weeks. And she's super passionate about prevention and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if, if God wants her part of the team or not, but I don't know. I've gotten responses from both of the ladies that I, that I reached out to. So I'm excited to do more. Thank you, Gabby, for sharing that. And you talking about tonight at five reminds me, I forgot to say it again. I know Chelsea started off. Half of uh, several people weren't on the call yet though. Tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, um, the first ever live Zoom um, business opportunity, I'll call it, uh, business opportunity webinar. So all these people that said, yeah, I'm open to learning, and you put them in the Facebook group and you tagged them in the, in the webinar there, great, wonderful. Contact them and let them know there's a live event happening tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific time if they would like to hop on. And um, neolifeevents.com is where you can register for it. Okay, there's other places. You can probably find it in different Facebook groups, but neolifeevents.com, you can register for it. I forgot to mention that again, because I'm really excited about that presentation tonight. Presentation on the business, probably more of a presentation on stories, multiple, multiple people's stories, two, three, four minute stories, bam, 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 and rapid fire. And as you know, 
facts do tell, and we have the facts and the science to back it all up, which is so important, but it's the stories that sell. And that's why the Facebook group is rocking it. So thank you for all your stories. Anyone else? Jenna, did you raise your hand for a question or is that just a little? Yeah, I raised my hand. Yes, go ahead. Hi everybody, good morning. Um, thanks good morning. for sharing this with us. Um, so my husband would like me to for now focus a bit on the product side more. Um, and so I see you have these units um, with the scripts placed in this Facebook group for the yep. business. Do you have the same type of thing in some other place for the product scripts? Yes. Great question. The, um, the product scripts are in the, um, in the same wisdom builders. Oops. What did I just do to my screen? Sorry. Um, they're in the same wisdom builders, Facebook group. And I can't tell you which unit they're in, but I hope it's self-explanatory as you scroll through the units that they should be okay. there. In fact, I'm going to go look right after this call to make sure they're there. They've been posted in the group, but I want to make sure they're in the units. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Maybe and by the way, we could have done a whole call on that because I know more people are using the product scripts, which are rocking too with that five key criteria video, that new one. Um, yeah. so, so I no totally believe in the business side of it. My husband just wants me to focus some on the product because everybody's struggling with the COVID. Either yeah. one works and I'm great either way. I would only say this when they tell you, yeah, I can't afford it right now because, and someone already covered this. One of the people that spoke, whoever it was, Stacy or Shelly, one of them, um, when they say, yeah, I can't afford it right now. Great. Then let's talk about the business. Are you open to learning? sounds like you yeah. could use some extra income. Yes or no. Would you like to learn? That's when I would just recommend, um, transitioning, but awesome question. Thank you. You bet. I'll make a note so I don't forget anyone else. Alan, I was going to suggest something that I just did this last couple of weeks. Yes. Can't figure this thing out. Okay, um, it kind of goes off of our training that we did on the spring retreat and then ties into what we're doing now. But with the call tonight, so um, a couple weeks ago, I had met this guy from a gym for like five minutes at a t-shirt shop. Um, that's it. So I'd never talked to him other than that time. And he didn't give me his contact um, information, but I knew what gym he worked at. So I went on his website and I've noticed too, a lot of gym owners, they're putting their personal cell phone numbers on their websites. So what I did, uh, I think it was two weeks ago now, it might've been one week ago now, but I messaged him and I told him, you know, I basically told him kind of what's going on, took a little bit from the script, told him that, you know, in this kind of economy now that where, you know, gyms are suffering, basically our business is growing and I can put the script on here that I used. Um, but I don't, he was, I'll post it in Wisdom Builders if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, I can do post that. It in the Wisdom Builders Facebook group. That'd be great but it was just a text message. And um, I hadn't heard, I had left messages with him before this time, but then I invited him to something basically like the Zoom what we're doing tonight. And is it gonna be the exact same Zoom on May 7th or whatever? Uh, May 1st, it's, it's this Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific tonight. And then next Friday, same time, 6 p.m. Pacific, different registration link, but same time, same place, different registration link. Um, same information. Same information, maybe some different stories, but yeah, same information. Okay. But from not being able to talk to him before, you know, before all this came out, I didn't really get any response from him, but all of a sudden now with everything going on, I did. So I thought if people can reach out to pe um, trainer or uh, gym trainers, gym owners in their area, just, you know, Google the, the information and send it out and see what you get. Great, great tip. I mean, opportunities are limitless and I love that's just another way, Michelle. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Well, Hey, thank you for joining us. Awesome. Awesome time. I love getting to hear from so many of you sharing what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, whatever. We're in this together. Um, looks like another amazing, incredible month you all are having. So fun to watch and see, seeing other people stepping up every single month. Um, I guess that's all tonight, 6 p.m. Pacific, neolifeevents.com to register for that. See who you can get to join you on that. It's going to be great. Have an awesome rest of the day and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.